Welcome to the 2A through 2C homework solution tutorial. Here where I will be covering multiplying out the following, which is 5, 6, 7, and 8. Let's take a look. You have x minus 3 to the second power. Reminder, when it looks like this, it looks like x squared. You want to expand it out so it becomes x times x. This is what happens when you expand it. So let's expand this out x minus 3 squared is the same thing as x minus 3 times x minus 3. This is now going to see how this is just multiplying two binomials. So x times x, that will get you x squared. Then you have x times negative 3, which is going to be negative 3x. Follow the arrow. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And then negative 3 times negative 3, which gets you a positive 9. Make sure you combine like terms, which are your two inside terms here. This gets you a negative 6x, okay? The base, the degree and the base do not change when you add, the, add or subtract the exponents. So this becomes just x squared minus 6x plus 9. Let's go to 6. Let's do this one at a time, okay? So I'm just going to move this over to the side really quick and just deal with this problem first. We have negative 3 times 2x. That gets you negative 6x. Then you have negative 3 times 4, which just gets you a negative 12, okay? I'm done dealing with that. Bring this back in, all right? So I can just put this in the parentheses just to organize it. And I bring down the 2x plus 3. Now it looks like this, which is just multiplying two binomials. So let's do that. Negative 6x times negative 2x. This gets you a negative 12x squared. Because remember, it's x times x. So add the exponents. Then let's do that one more time. Negative 6x times 3, that gets you a negative 18x. The inside terms now, negative 12 times 2x gets you negative 24x. And lastly, negative 12 times 3, which gets you a negative 36. Make sure you combine the like terms, which are your two inside ones, negative 18 and negative 14. Let me do that. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this becomes negative 42. So it's negative 42x. Bring down this. Negative 12x squared minus 42x minus 36. There you go. All right. Let's scroll down. Let's go to 7. Same thing here. You just have to be very careful with the terms. That's why I like drawing the arrows. Okay. I'm actually going to, you can do this the arrow method. All right, and I'm going to give you the answer now. Hold on. Okay, that's how it looks like. And now I'm going to do the box method, okay? The box method is very similar to the arrow method. And I would just like to show one example with it so you know what I'm referring to. So I'm going to draw a box here, and I'm going to write down my terms. So I'm going to write x squared up top here. That's its box. You have the negative 2x here, and you have the negative 4 here. Each of the terms takes up a row or a column. And on, on the left-hand side, it's just x and minus 3. Now we can multiply. What is x times x squared? That becomes x cubed. What is x times negative 2x? That gets you a negative 2x squared. What is x times negative 4? Negative 4x. Negative 3 times x squared? Negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 2x is positive 6x. Negative 3 times negative 4 gets you a positive 12. Now can combine the like terms. You have x cubed, which is this box here. Then you have the x squared. So this and this together gets you a negative 5x squared. These two are now like terms as well. This gets you a 2x. And then you have your constant at the end by itself. Notice it is the same answer as before. Two, I'm just going to give you the answer because it's the same work as before in both methods. 
all right there you go on the left hand side is the arrow method you could follow the arrows in different colors and it gets distributed on the right hand side you get the box method and i color coded there as well